Welcome to my project bazaar.com. Let me discuss about the project particle swarm optimization based clustering by preventing residual nodes in wireless sensor networks. Let me discuss about the abstract of the project particle swarm optimization, PSO, and intelligent optimization algorithm inspired by the flocking behavior of birds has been shown to perform well and widely used to solve the continuous problem. But the traditional PSO and most of its variants are developed for optimization problems in continuous space, which are not able to solve the binary by combinational optimization problem. Particle swarm optimization PSO is a population based stochastic approach for solving continuous and discrete optimization problems. In particle sum optimization, simple software agents called particles move in the search space of an optimization problem. The position of a particle represents a candidate solution to the optimization problem at hand. Each particle searches for better position in the search space by changing its veracity according to rules originally inspired by behavioral models of bird plucking. Particle sum optimization belongs to the class of small intelligent techniques uh, that are used to solve optimization problems. This system proposes enhanced OEERP that reduces or eliminates an individual node formation and improves the overall network lifetime when compared with the existing protocols. Let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process. In the node deployment strategy, once the nodes are deployed in the sensing region, the base station broadcasts a message called a collection information request a message to all the sensor nodes in the network to collect the nodes information. The value of position, velocity and energy are maintained and updated at the base station. Then the base station makes the sensor nodes to perform clustering. Cluster formation is performed using particle swarm optimization. By using the particle swarm optimization, we can perform the cluster and the cluster head selection and also the reduction of residual node. Particle swarm optimization algorithm is used for cluster formation and cluster head election. There are three clusters in the network. Clustering takes place by considering the node with the maximum fitness value in the constructed network. There exists an individual node with the fitness value. Such individual node is considered as a cluster head in the next iteration and the cluster is formed. The same process is repeated until no or least number of individual nodes remains in the network. The iteration with no individual node or less number of individual nodes is considered as a global best and the cluster formation is stopped. Next, shortest routing path are analyzed using gravitational search algorithm. Data routing for network aggression is one which performs routing tree construction and finding the shortest path that links all the nodes to all other nodes in the network. Collaborator is generally a node which detects an event and gathers information. The collected information will be transferred to the coordinator node. After the election, it becomes coordinator node. This node performs data aggregation operation and sends the aggregated to data to the sync node. The nodes which are in between the coordinator node and the sync node are called relay nodes. As these nodes are used to forward the sensed data to the sync node, it is said to be relay node. Next, in the performance analysis are performed, it compares the parameters of total energy consumption, throughput, packet delivery ratio, overall network life, normalized control overheads. The network lifetime can be improved by avoiding the sensor node to transmit raw data. The overall network lifetime of the wireless sensor network can be improved by properly making the sensor nodes radio to be in either on or off mode, that is active or sleep mode. Let me discuss about the running procedure for our process. Select the main.m file in the current folder, right click the file and run for executing this process. Initially, the nodes are deployed randomly and the cluster formation and the cluster hit selections are performed using PSO algorithm that is particle swarm optimization algorithm. In the particle swarm optimization algorithm, the uh, residual nodes are reduced. The number of residual nodes are reduced using PSO. Next, the uh, shortest routing paths are analyzed 
using gravitation search algorithm here this node indicates the destination node and this is the transferring node the yellow color node represents the cluster head and the pink color node represents the normal cluster member node so all cluster member nodes are transmit the data to other their cluster head and each cluster head transmit their data to destination through shortest path and this shortest paths are found by using gravitational search algorithm this process will be repeated for entire cluster head which deployed in the network and once completed the cluster head operation and cluster formation we analyze the performance analysis graph this is the residual node comparison among different protocols here the comparison will be performed with the EOERP with other existing methods and this is the total energy consumption at different time slots this process will be performed for different existing methods and here the throughput at different time slots are performed and this is the packet delivery ratio at different time slots with different comparing methods existing methods this is the overall network lifetime at different time slots with uh, existing comparison method finally an enhanced to optimize the energy efficient routing protocol was performed where pso eliminated the individual nodes in wsn finally the result showed that the proposed method individual node formation which results in comparatively better network lifetime thank you